Artificial intelligence, or AI, is the science and engineering of creating machines that can perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, such as learning, reasoning, and decision-making. AI has been a fascinating topic for centuries, from ancient myths and stories of artificial beings, to modern philosophers and scientists who explored the possibility of building intelligent machines. But how did AI become what it is today, and what will it look like in the future? Well, in this video we're going to discuss its origin, birth, challenges, renaissance, and the future of AI. Now let's get started. The Origins of AI The idea of artificial intelligence can be traced back to ancient times, when people imagined artificial beings with intelligence or consciousness, such as the bronze giant Talos in Greek mythology, or the clay golem in Jewish folklore. In the Middle Ages, alchemists and inventors tried to create mechanical devices that could mimic human or animal behavior, such as the Mechanical Knight by Leonardo da Vinci, or the Mechanical Duck by Jacques de Vaucanson. The first attempts to formalize the concept of artificial intelligence came from philosophers who tried to describe the process of human thinking as the mechanical manipulation of symbols. For example, in the 17th century, René Descartes proposed that animals are complex machines that can be explained by physics and mechanics, and that humans are similar but have a rational soul that gives them free will. In the 18th century, Gottfried Leibniz envisioned a universal language of symbols that could capture all human knowledge and reasoning, and a machine that could use this language to answer any question. The invention of the programmable digital computer in the 1940s was a milestone for modern AI. It was based on the idea of manipulating symbols according to logical rules, which was inspired by the work of mathematicians such as George Boole and Alan Turing. Turing was one of the first to propose that machines could be intelligent if they could pass a test of imitating human conversation. He also suggested that machines could learn from experience and improve their performance over time. The Birth of AI The field of AI research was officially founded in 1956 at a workshop held at Dartmouth College, USA. The term artificial intelligence was coined by John McCarthy, who organized the workshop with Marvin Minsky, Nathaniel Rochester, and Claude Shannon. They invited some of the leading researchers in various fields related to AI, such as logic, psychology, neuroscience, and computer science, to discuss how to make machines that could exhibit intelligent behavior. The workshop was an optimistic event that sparked many ideas and projects for the next decades. Some of the participants predicted that a machine as intelligent as a human would exist in no more than a generation. They received generous funding from governments and corporations to pursue their vision. The early achievements of AI were impressive and promising. For example, in 1957, Alan Newell, Cliff Shaw, and Herbert Simon created the Logic Theorist, a program that could prove mathematical theorems using symbolic logic. In 1959, Arthur Samuel developed a program that could play checkers at an expert level by learning from its own mistakes. In 1962, Tom Evans created Analogy, a program that could solve geometric analogy problems on IQ tests. In 1966, Joseph Weizenbaum created ELISA, a program that could simulate a psychotherapist by using natural language processing. The Challenges of AI However, as AI research progressed, it also encountered many difficulties and limitations. Some of the problems that seemed easy for humans turned out to be very hard for machines, such as understanding natural language, recognizing faces, or grasping common sense. On the other hand, some of the problems that seemed hard for humans turned out to be easy for machines, such as playing chess or solving equations. AI researchers also realized that they had underestimated the complexity and diversity of human intelligence. They found out that there is no single definition or measure of intelligence, and that different tasks require different kinds of intelligence. They also discovered that intelligence is not only about logic and calculation, but also about creativity, emotion, intuition, and social interaction. In addition to technical challenges, AI also faced ethical and social challenges. Some people question whether machines could ever have consciousness or morality, and whether they would pose a threat or a benefit to humanity. Some people also worried about the impact of AI on human jobs, privacy, security, and culture. As a result of these challenges, AI research went through several cycles of hype and disappointment, known as AI winters. During these periods, funding and interest in AI declined significantly due to unfulfilled expectations and negative publicity. The first AI winter occurred in the mid-1970s, when the limitations of symbolic AI became apparent and the funding from the US and UK governments was cut. The second AI winter occurred in the late 1980s and early 1990s, when the limitations of expert systems and neural networks became apparent and the funding from the Japanese government and the European Union was cut. The Renaissance of AI 
Despite the setbacks, AI research never stopped completely. Some researchers continued to work on improving existing methods and exploring new ones. Some of the breakthroughs that revived AI research in the late 1990s and early 2000s were the success of Deep Blue, a chess-playing computer that defeated the world champion Garry Kasparov in 1997, using a combination of brute force search and heuristic evaluation. The development of statistical machine learning, a branch of AI that uses probabilistic models and data-driven methods to learn from data and make predictions or decisions. The emergence of the Internet, which provided a huge amount of data and information for AI applications, such as web search, recommender systems, and social media. The advancement of hardware, which enabled faster and cheaper computation and storage for AI systems, especially with the use of graphics processing units, GPUs, and cloud computing. The current era of AI is characterized by the dominance of deep learning, a subfield of machine learning that uses artificial neural networks with multiple layers to learn complex patterns from data. Deep learning has achieved remarkable results in various domains, such as computer vision, natural language processing, speech recognition, natural language generation, machine translation, image generation, game playing, self-driving cars, and healthcare. Some of the milestones of deep learning in the 2010s and 2020s are The success of AlexNet, a deep convolutional neural network that won the ImageNet Large Scale Visual Recognition Challenge in 2012, by a large margin over other competitors. The success of AlphaGo, a deep reinforcement learning system that defeated the world champion Lee Settle in the ancient board game Go in 2016, using a combination of neural networks and Monte Carlo tree search. The success of GPT-3, a deep generative pre-trained transformer model that can generate coherent and diverse texts on various topics and tasks in 2020, using a large-scale language model trained on billions of words from the internet. The success of DAL-E, a deep generative multimodal transformer model that can create images from text descriptions in 2021, using a large-scale vision language model trained on text image pairs from the internet. The future of AI The future of AI is hard to predict, but it is likely to continue to impact every aspect of our lives and society. Some of the possible trends and directions for AI in the future are the development of strong AI or artificial general intelligence AGI, which is the hypothetical goal of creating machines that can perform any intellectual task that humans can. This would require machines to have not only narrow intelligence for specific domains, but also broad intelligence for general domains, as well as common sense, creativity, emotion, intuition, and social skills. The development of artificial superintelligence, ASI, which is the hypothetical scenario where machines surpass human intelligence in all aspects. This would raise existential questions about the role and fate of humanity in relation to machines, as well as ethical questions about the values and goals of machines. The development of artificial consciousness or artificial sentience, AC or AS, which is the hypothetical phenomenon where machines have subjective experiences or feelings. This would challenge our understanding of what it means to be alive and conscious, as well as our moral obligations towards machines. The development of human-machine hybrid systems or cyborgs, HMHS or C, which are systems that combine biological and artificial components to enhance human capabilities or overcome human limitations. This would blur the boundaries between humans and machines, as well as raise issues about identity, autonomy, privacy, and security. The development of artificial societies or artificial cultures, as or AC, which are groups or communities of intelligent agents that interact with each other and form norms, values, beliefs, languages, arts, and institutions. This would expand our notion of diversity and complexity in social systems, as well as our responsibility for social justice and harmony. AI is one of the most fascinating and influential fields of science and technology. It has a long history that reflects our curiosity and creativity as human beings. It also has a bright future that promises to transform our world in ways we can hardly imagine. As we continue to explore the possibilities and challenges of AI, we should also remember to use it wisely and responsibly for the benefit of ourselves and others. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.